Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and in this video I will show you how to use Microsoft Office for free in this phone. So guys, the Microsoft Office is pre-installed on this phone. So you can see over here there is a Microsoft folder, just select it. Once you select it, here you see this Microsoft 365 Office. So if you cannot find it, you can download it from Play store now i will open it and here it will ask you to sign in okay so if you have microsoft account you can enter your microsoft account here to sign in if you don't have microsoft account you can create a new account you just have to put any of your email id and it will take you to account creation page so now i will enter my microsoft account so guys after signing in you can see this type of dashboard for your microsoft office 365 so on top you can see over here there is a recent tab then we have scans pdf this microsoft word notes but you can see we have microsoft word but you cannot see microsoft excel or microsoft powerpoint so how to get these uh, two apps so you just have to select this more option from here okay and here you can see we have this excel available okay so what you can do is you can just select this plus icon and it will add to your uh, top tabs okay and then i select this powerpoint and then i select this plus icon the powerpoint is also added once you finish you can press done okay so now if you just scroll like this now you can see we have word excel and we also have the powerpoint so i will start with excel so i select this excel from here okay and then at the bottom you can see there is a create tab available over here you just select it okay once you select it here you see this option of create and it is giving different option i select this excel okay once you select the excel here you have three options you can scan a table you can use blank workbook or create from template i select blank workbook okay so here you can see it is showing me the blank workbook for the excel now you can see you cannot see any tools for the excel that you want to use for example you want to use the formula or you want to use different graphs pie charts so how to get these tools you can see on top you have uh, this uh, icon over here which says a and there is a pen okay so just select it once you select it you will see the tools will appear at the bottom so here you have this border tools fill color uh, font color okay the alignment merge center all the different tools available okay so you can see over here the next thing is for example if you want to write something over here you can just select it okay just double select once you select it here it will show you this normal keyboard but we want the keyboard that is a specific for the excel which include numbers and some numerical symbols so here you it is giving you the option for that keyboard you can see over here there is a keyboard with one two three just select it once you select it now it is showing you the keyboard with the numbers okay and then there are different uh, formula like this some formula symbol okay and then we also also have the other symbols from here for example like this currency and you can use the different numbers over here as well the next thing that I want to mention here is for example you select uh, this tools icon and you see there are only basic tools available at the bottom but if you want to go for more advanced tools so how to find them so guys here you can see it is written over here home okay so this home tab if you select it so here we have all other tools available you can see we have insert draw formulas data review and view for example uh, the most important is formulas so if i just select the formula it will open the formula tab and formula tools are available so you can see we have this auto sum uh, financial logical text date and time all the tools lookup and reference math and trig okay statistical so all the different formulas available over here you can use them okay the next thing is for example if you want to use the pie chart or if you want to uh, use the graph okay you can also do it you just select this insert option okay and then here you can see if you just scroll down you see there is a chart option available so insert tab we have other tools for example we have pictures shapes okay text box 
okay so this is the chart tool if you select the chart then we have the column line pie chart okay so you can see different pie chart so guys now what i will do is i will just uh, go back and I will just try to write some numbers and I try to uh, check this Excel if it is working perfectly okay so for example if I write here I use this keyboard I uh, just write these numbers okay I will make it bigger okay so you can see okay and then here I try to use this sum formula I just select this sum okay so you can see it automatically select these columns okay and then I select this tick icon okay so here it is giving me the correct answer so excel is working perfectly fine okay the next thing is about saving of uh, your work okay so for example if you go back okay your work will automatically save okay and where it will save it will save in the microsoft onedrive okay so here you can see it is giving you 5 gb of cloud storage and it is completely free if you want more storage you have to pay for it okay so till 5 gb it is completely free and it will store in your microsoft onedrive okay so you can just access from here okay so if you just select it here you can see all your storage the next thing is for example if you want to save your work on your phone not on your cloud you can also do it for example this is my uh, recent book okay so you can see i work over here now i want to save uh, this file into my phone okay so what i will do i select these three dots okay so you can see over here and then here you see this option of save as just select it once you select it here you can see it is giving me different option the first one is onedrive the second one is this device or you can browse so i select this device okay and then i go to the settings okay and then i just enable this option from here all file access so i just enable it now i will go back now it will take me to my device so here you can select any folder okay so for example i select this documents folder okay and here you can give it any name and then you can save it okay so here is the name option you can give it any name and then you can save it in your mobile phone so now i will move to the powerpoint okay so here is the powerpoint tab i just select it now again same process i have to do i select this create option and then i select this powerpoint and here you have four different options you can choose pictures create outline blank presentation or create from template i select blank presentation okay so here is our powerpoint work you can see this is a blank presentation here you can make all your presentations the next thing is about tools so here you can find some tools okay only some basic tools are available here but if you want to access more advanced tools so here you see on top we have again this icon over here with a and this pen just select it once you select it here you will see more advanced tools you have font formatting number bullets all different tools available okay and then if you want to add new slide you can add from here now if you want to go more advanced tools you select this home tab and here you have other tools available so you can use this insert tool draw design transition animation slideshow all the tools are available now let's see uh, we want to check the designs okay so i select these designs then i go to themes okay so here we have different themes available so you can use any of the theme okay so you can see now it is applied okay so this is how you can use different tools over here guys you can also use your s pen to draw anything directly on your work okay so here is the draw option okay and then we have pen tool highlighter tool so for example i select this pen tool you can select any color from here okay for example i select this color okay and then i can draw anything okay so you can see over here i can use my s pen and draw anything i can also use this highlighter tool i can use the eraser tool so i can work on my presentation with the pen okay the next thing that i want to mention here is for example you are uh, giving some presentation so here you can see this presentation icon just select it now here you can see there is a slideshow okay now what you can do is you can use your s pen button you have to press it one time you don't have to press the screen you just press it and it will take you to the next slide okay so like this if i press next slide again i press okay if you want to go to the previous slide you have to press this s pen button two times okay so i will press it two times it will go back 
okay so here you can see now it go back so this is how you can use your S Pen. The next thing that I want to mention here is whatever work you do on your Microsoft Office, you can save it as PDF file as well. For example, I have this uh, presentation, this is a PowerPoint presentation, but I want to save it as PDF. So how to save it? Just select these three dots, okay? And here you see new tab open, you just go down and select this print option. Once you select it, here it will change it to this form and here you see this PDF icon, okay? So there's a yellow color PDF icon, so you can see now it converted into a PDF. I just select this PDF, okay? And then you can save anywhere on your phone. So now I will move to Microsoft Word. So here is the Microsoft Word. Again, I go to this Create tab and then here is the Microsoft Word. So I will open it and here you see this a blank document create from template or scan text. I select this blank document okay and here I have this blank document okay so here we have different tools at the bottom but if you want to access more advanced tools select again this A with the pen okay and then you have more tools available and then you see this home tab just select it and you have here insert okay so you can insert picture shapes header footer equation footnote and note so all the tools are available if you want to use this pen you can use the draw option you can change the layout okay all different tools available over here so guys if you want to close this tab you can just use this arrow from here okay and then again if you want to save your work select these three dots so here you have different option and so we have this share save or save as if you select this save option here it is showing you the auto save option so currently it is on so whatever work i will do it will automatically save in my microsoft OneDrive. okay and then you can export uh, this uh, work on to ODT as well. The next thing is in Microsoft Word, you can use the voice to text option as well. So if I double tap it like that, you can see there is a mic appear at the bottom. Okay, so if I turn it on, whatever I say, it will convert it into the text. So this will be really helpful in create any kind of assignments or any kind of document. For example, I will try it now. So guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much